Okay, so um, it's just a very small little uh, web uh, post today, but in the form of a video. So it's a bit exciting and different today. Um, so I just received Donny Saw through the mail, and I'm very very happy with the quality of the print. So you can see it's nice and vibrant. The colours really pop, and it's it's nice and shiny. So. Um, it's all in full colour and as you can see the paper is shiny, it's not just a matte kind of, of paper, it's kind of smooth as well so it should be fairly dirt resistant but I'm just so pleased with how, how vibrant and colourful it really looks. Um, I mean it, it came very quickly as well. So I ordered this um, on um, Sunday, which was uh, well four, nearly five days ago, and it should take. It says on the website it should take between three and five uh, business days to print, but this printed in less than three days, and it was dispatched yesterday, and it's arrived today. So I, I'm extremely pleased with how um, how quickly it's it's been printed and also the quality of it as well. So um, this was my first full picture book, so I was concerned, but I am extremely happy. So Donny Saw is here. Donny Saw is ready, and I am very very happy with it. Um, I thought I'll put some of my old books here as well to just show how big they are. Um, speaking. Of Subject 218, the series, uh, I am making progress with the comic, and I was hoping to show a uh, example, but whether or not it will work is a different story. So, I've just tried, and it's not showing anything. So, while I try and get this set up, um, I will... Um, I'll just open this random page. So I'm hoping it will actually show up, but I don't believe it's, uh, it's cooperating. Ah, there we go. So this is just one of the panels uh, in full colour. There's no um, shading applied, and the speech bubbles aren't there as well. So I am making progress, though, because I've uh, finished, I believe, five, five or six. So, if I open this one, you can see roughly how it's going to look with the flat colours applied. So, it's going to be roughly the same size as this book, um, but not as thick, obviously, because I'm releasing them in issues, and the issues are based on um, one, maybe one and a half to two chapters each. So, that'll be about 34 maybe 40 pages. Donny Saw here is a good example of how thick it's going to be. It's not the same size this way. It's going to be about the same thickness though as Donny Saw because Donny Saw is 34 pages. The minimum that Lulu will allow me to print um, these types of picture books at that I can distribute outside of their website is 32 pages. So it will be the same thickness as Donny Saw, but it will be the size that the original book was. Maybe a little bit bigger, I'm not 100% sure yet, because I've not ordered that size yet. But, um, I am making progress on the comic. It's, whether or not it's still on track for the uh, end of the month to have the first issue release, I can't really say. Um, I have been a bit run down and not feeling that well lately, so it's had a bit of an impact because I was grafting to get Donny Sword done as soon as possible because it was so close to being finished. I worked really tirelessly through nights and weekends. I didn't stop for a break uh, at all, really, um, other than toilet break and the occasional snack. Um, but Donny Sword is finished, at least the first issue is. But I won't be doing any more main Donny Saw projects until I've made some headway in the comic and um, a little bit more headway on the Specimen G13 book. Now, 
Uh, I won't go into too much detail about that at the moment because the proofreader is still behind schedule. They really don't have time to do any of the Junimaru projects at the moment, but they will be going back onto it when they have more time. Um, but the while those um, projects are on the back burner, I am still actively working on them, um, just not as intensely as I was before the proofreader said there's going to be a bit of a delay on getting this book ready uh, I can't make you know time to do it uh, so I wouldn't advance any further if I were you so basically um, I've just been working on specimen G13 and making notes on future projects when and where I can so that when he is available to proofread again I will uh, just be throwing projects at him um, and not having to set anything up anymore so anyway speaking of proofreading I will have a new proofreader for um, subject 218 as I mentioned in previous um, blog entries but uh, unlike the uh, the other proofreader this person um, will only work on the Subject to 18 stuff, they won't be involved with the Jinimaru stuff so they won't be proofreading the comic but they have been giving me a few pointers and a few bits of advice like one of the things that they advised me to do was to make the borders on the speech bubbles a little bit smaller and to keep the kind of scrappy style so that it, it just um, didn't feel like a, a cookie cut comic I think the term was so, um, this book is getting a rewrite, not from 100% rewrite, it's going to still have the same story, roughly the same structure and the same wording, it's just going to be proofread so that it reads a little bit better, um, maybe has a few areas cut that might not have been necessary, um, we won't know really until um, they get right into doing the proofreading. I mean they started doing some uh, while I was in Japan but the, uh, they didn't really have time to advance further than chapter one. But um, when this does get rewritten it will have a brand new cover and it will have the same back cover. The front of the cover is all that will be changing just because this is the first edition and then when the new rewrite comes out that will be the second edition so these ones will no longer go in print there are probably only five of these uh, two of which I have and three which are in circulation somewhere in the world of charity shops so that's subject 218 the comics making progress it's slow but that's because I wanted to steam through and get Donisaur written so I thought all is well here, get some of the uh, little folklore volumes just to show size. Again, these are about 90 pages I think, well this one's 85 but one of the other ones I think is 90. So they're, they're only small um, and I also got some feedback not only from Comic Con but from um, some other people I've shown the covers to. They like this cover, they think this cover is a bit too stretched and they think that the back covers aren't exactly professional, not like the Subject 218 ones, they look fine. So I will be revising the cover for Volume 1 and the back for all of the uh, folklore stories, but not right now because obviously I have... Um, such a backlog of projects. So in the future, this the uh, Jinimaru covers on the back will be a little bit more plain and bland like this, but it does look a lot more professional. So that's uh, unfortunately going to be the case for future instalments of those books. So now that I have given you the updates on the book projects, I was going to give a update on the uh, Redbubble store content because I received three mug samples 
uh, but I forgot to bring them upstairs, and my uh, fa a family member had ordered some extra large uh, printed shirts of the Donbury Addict Spinosaurus, um, the Jonas um, lo like picture one, and um, the transgender uh, Gakido um, shirt as well. So they all came and because they were on extra large, some of them were on larger sized shirts, I was quite worried that the print would fade, you know, not be very good quality, but Redbubble, once again, they they impress me every single time they send any samples through. Um, I had received plenty of samples of stickers, I would show them, but they're all stuck down the side of, of here and the uh, the camera when I move it makes a noise. In fact, if I mute my microphone just for the moment, I can show you. So, I have not put the camera in the right place, but uh, as you saw, uh, besides the mess of the room, because we still haven't officially uh, moved everything where it should be, because of the building work that we've had, and awaiting still some building work, um, that's also uh, causing a, a bit of disruption, because I like to work in a room that's really in in the place that I want it to be. This drafting table is in the wrong place really. I wanted the drafting table to be over here where the PlayStation 4 is and the PlayStation 4 I wanted over here but there's no room over here at the moment because this desk can't budge any further because my bed's there. So there's a lot of um, moving about still happening and when things aren't where I want them to be it really uh, interferes with my, my level of focus because it's far too easy for me at the moment to be working on the drafting table and trying to do some streaming maybe or to look at some reference pictures on my computer and I constantly have to turn around now I will still have to do this when the desk's over here but I'm not having to worry about pushing the table forward because at the moment it's blocking all my clothes and also having to worry about um, knocking my knees on anything because at the moment I can easily knock into stuff so it's, uh, it's making headway but very slowly but that's out of my control um, I've been just trying to plough on through projects when and where I can so I would show you the t-shirts and I would show you the mugs but I didn't bring them up. I will take pictures of those later and upload them on the uh, merchandise store. So that's going to do for now and I'll post a regular update blog next Wednesday.